Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, not 3. Um, what is the matter with me today? I already had to like reset one recording because I completely messed up the intro because for some reason I called this game Fire Emblem. I don't know what's the matter with me, but anyway, let's continue. There's a cutscene already? Can't really hear the battle theme too much, but you know, hey, that's the way it is. Unfortunately. So as you can see, I'm heading over to the back of this enemy because Rex does have an ability that makes him deal more damage when hitting from behind. Make haste and retreat. And therefore, that is what we are going to do. If he can deal more damage like this then might as well. Seriously though. Come on, man. This dude is such a joke. Uh, Amazing. So that's how drivers and blades fight? So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. Nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats. Let's move! Kuh. Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders. <laughs> <laughs> They make short work of monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well too. There much money to be made from these people. <laughs> All right. Uh, why did it flip me around? Why does this game always do that type of stuff to me? I know how to lure enemies, game. Not Just maybe. so. Okay, time really to take you down. Really isn't that difficult of a process Don't to lure an down. enemy towards you. Yeah. Uh, I really feel like at this point, you know what? Let's get inside. Yeah. So we'll just uh, do that. I, I call it stutter stepping. I don't know what, where I got that it's from. If that's the actual name of it or not. Sometimes. What did I just do? Chief, it's a real problem. Uh, mm. I, I don't, don't remember this quickly. ship whatsoever. I don't know my face. Like Let's at show all. Thing three. My weapon is ready. I ha! really, really don't. Duh. Yeah, yeah. Anchor shot. Seriously, I'm not even joking. Duh. Why not? Do you so not remember at smash. all? Ha. Ha. Yeah. Die. Sky yeah. slash. Anchor shot. Ha! My current main problem is that I just really don't want to run out of... Uh... It's an hour and ten minutes. It'd be three episodes before I would have to go get another one, basically. Uh... I don't know, I kind of don't want to use it yet, because there's nothing really that... I mean, I guess I could use one of the other ones. I don't necessarily have to use an arse spare jelly right off the bat. I can just use one of the lesser ones, like this one. Even though it's only 20 minutes, it does help out a little bit. You're all mine. When this game first came out, I believe a lot of people were complaining Let's about how the, the combat three. works in this game. Sure because the combat out. can be a bit slow at times. <laughs> But as you can see, all of a sudden our combat has just skyrocketed in speed. And once we uh, unlock being able to 
combo arcs into other arcs, it's gonna get even faster. Um, it really is. But that's not gonna be a while from now, because I don't even think we have access to that yet. Oh, no, we do have access to it. Uh, so that is where? Adds 20% to damage ratio, adds a cancelling auto attack that could be useful. Let's you use a driver art after cancelling a driver art. This is what we need. 3,000. So we want to go for this one first. Nice one! Uh, what else? We're probably going to get allows the driver to use the driver art assigned to X at the beginning of the battle. Uh, and more than likely either the strength or... HP restore uh, to a revived ally. Those are the two that I'm thinking of getting. Hey, look what I found! Congratulations. At least that's what I think will benefit us most in the long run. Let's show them a thing or three. Apart You're from in that, my move. I don't really Stop. find that there's any, if anything else that we really want or need. Yeah. But hey, you never know. Ultra Slash! I'm stronger than this, you know. Nice level up, Nia. So as you can see, Nia, treasure acquired. I think pretty much stays almost on level with Rex when you first get her. I think for the most part, most of the characters in the game do try to like be at the same ish level as Rex when they join the party. There aren't many characters that actually join this party. Though. This um. It's not like 3 where you get basically the entire main party right off the bat, but it it's less than 1, for example, because I think 1 still has the biggest cast, because 1 has 7 characters. Um, okay, time to take you down. I don't really include the heroes in that from Chronicles 3, because they're not necessarily like playable characters, but still they help out a lot. Um, in this game, you can only have 3 characters in your party at once. Not like it's too big of a deal. Uh, because the characters in this game can actually end up being quite powerful if you know how to use them correctly. Um, especially characters like I can't mention most of the characters because most of them are actually basically spoilers! Which is very much fun! But there are only, I believe, uh, five characters in total that you, that you get into the party during this game. That being offense is a best defense, right? Hold on a minute, because they're a little loud. Okay, that's better. Uh, so there are only five characters in this game. Then again, I guess with all the blades. Okay. That you get throughout the game and all the blades that the characters who join your party come with, it kind of balances yeah. itself out. I think this yeah. game was like the game that actually actually had to develop. They had they got like a lot of people to help develop this game, and when I say that, I mean they got, they got a whole bunch of different people to design the blades in this game. So it sometimes it is a little odd because the art styles don't necessarily okay. match up with each other with each other. Um, again, I think some of the best art still is, like, the normal base, like, character parts, like, the ones that were obviously meant to be in the game from the very beginning and were all designed by likely the same person or the same team, the same art style. Um, Rex's design at the beginning of the game, this outfit that he has on, uh, is isn't the greatest. I will say that it most definitely. Oh Jesus Lord! Isn't the greatest outfit in the world. However, he does get an outfit change much, much later in the game, and that outfit is like three times cooler. It actually looks like super cool. It's still considered to be a fact, right? Yes. Okay, very good. 
I always for I always get lost on this ship. Even though I've played this game like three times okay. at this point, I always get lost on this ship. Down. I never know where I am. Never. <laughs> and I find that super funny because it makes no sense to me as to why I don't know where I am. It's a fairly small area too, so I don't understand. So Rex actually has... All the characters in this game have four arts. Right? There's one extra art at that bottom that... At some point we will get. I believe we get it as soon as we get our first blade. Uh, because of the fact that it's an ether art and Rex can't channel ether. I don't believe anybody can channel ether in this game without the help of a blade. Which is funny compared to, like, Chronicles 1 in which Melia can channel ether very easily and so can characters like, um, Charla. I find it funny because in like in Chronicles 1 and in Chronicles 3 it's just like hey pretty much anybody can channel ether if they work at it even Shulk could use ether arts I mean seriously he had light heal so we don't have anything like that in this game Shul uh, Rex doesn't have like really any healing moves other than the potion moves um, he does have you know, okay. Anchor Shot, Bring which does up. give him an HP potion when he hits an enemy with it. Um, it's always very good to have on Rex. Because those potions are basically the main way of getting healing in this game. Uh, because the rest of the healing arts in this game take a while to recharge. So it's not like you really have much of a choice when choosing what you want your healing art to be. That's funny, but that's just the way it is. Well, that was the wrong move. I completely messed everything up here. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how far we're gonna get in this episode. I actually really don't know. Um, I don't think- I think we should at least be getting off this ship. We should at least make it to Gormont. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any of the chance to play on Gormont or not. But we are definitely getting off of this shit. That's the truth. Uh, I will be switching out one of the arts we currently have. More than likely Double Spinning Edge. For Rex's other art when he gets it. Which is Rolling Smash. Treasure acquired. Because that, that uh, art brings down the aggro that Rex has. And it's an ether art. So it allows us to deal more than just regular physical damage. It's hey, useful. Look what I found. Congratulations. Uh, yes, I need to find an ether fuel container first. Which I believe is right over here if I'm not wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Okay, bring it on. How many enemies are here, dude? You can very, very much tell that they spent a lot more time with the combat in Chronicles 3 because, oh boy, they fixed it. Then again, at this current point, combat is kind of boring since we don't have a blade. Once you get a blade, this game, the combat definitely changes because of the blade combos that we can do. And I'm surprised okay. they haven't really Time given us the option. Make sure well, actually, we can't. Because I, uh... <laughs> I forget. I don't have the ability to topple an enemy until Chapter 3. Right. Once we also gain the ability to, to topple an enemy, that'll also definitely change the game for us. For example, right there, if... You know, if this were after Chapter 3, with that uh, Anchor Shot there, I would've toppled him, because once we get to Chapter 3, Anchor Shot gains the ability to topple enemies, and I keep hitting the wrong button. I should change this up, because I keep messing it up. So, let me actually do that very Of course, my um, That is what I am here for. Switch. Nope, wrong one. Switch. Switch these two. Just because it makes my life easier to understand it. That way it's like, I know back is B and side is Y. Uh... No, wait, it's right here. 
All right, so yeah, we're definitely gonna. I think we're definitely gonna have the chance to play on Gormon today. That is if the cutscenes don't take too long. There is a very very cool piece of music in one of the upcoming cutscenes. So it's kind of like this game, this version of the Weight of Life or Engage the Enemy. It's called Counter Attack. It's absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Now we gotta just come right here. I believe that just unlocks the door. I believe once we get close to it, it's gonna open the door. Oh, no, no, no. Anyway, here's kind of like our first boss ish. Not planning on letting us pass, huh? Sounds like a challenge. Jesus Christ, okay. I didn't even get a second to freaking move and I already got hit. God. That's the first goal here. So they're probably gonna get taken out here fairly quickly. Uh, this shouldn't be too difficult to fight though. You know what? Maybe I should shut my mouth. How about you? Halo. Thank you. So as you can tell, healing moves work slightly Ultra different in this slash. game. It isn't kind of like an AoE. It kind of just heals everyone that's in the party. I think they, they mostly changed that in 3 because of the fact that healing all 6 people at the same time would be kind just a little bit. I don't know why we both went for that. Doesn't matter, we took it out. Nice. Jin, check this out. There it is. Adam's crest. Adam's crest. What does that mean? You. Open this door. Me. This door will only open to one of you people. One of me? What are you talking about? Hurry up and do it! We're not paying you to ask dumb questions. What the hell? You can't treat hired hands like that. Now, how do we open this thing? So that was a release toggle. Just as I thought. Wait. There. Open that door too. Let's move. What what is that thing? It's a uh, girl. That... 
ages. Hey, Brett! Don't even think about touching that! Huh? <laughs> Personally, it's an act of mercy. At least you won't be alive to see what's coming. Uh, what a waste of time. Jen! Why did you kill him? Why? What did Rex ever do to you? Jin! Let's ship out the Aegis. Nia, call the Monoceros. Okay, so this isn't going to last very long because we're going to go right back into a cutscene once we reach here. Uh, excuse me? such a mournful sound. Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not. Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? Uh, where are we? This is... Elysium. The land where long ago... Mankind lived in harmony with their creator. It's where... we were born. Get out! R really? Is that a core crystal? You're a... blade? My name is Pyra. What? Oh, right. M mine is... I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? Just now, when we came into contact. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... killed. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. Jin? Through the... I remember now. That bastard stabbed me! Oh man! This is bad! Everyone in the guild is in danger! No, wait. I can't do anything if I'm dead. Titan's fucked. If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass. Rex, I have a request. Can you take me to Elysium? Elysium? But isn't that here? This world is merely a memory. An ancient, half-forgotten memory of what once was. 
the real Elysian lies in your world, atop the world tree that rises from the heart of all rest. Memory? So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm dead, remember? How can I help if I'm not breathing? I will give you half of my life force. That way, you can be revived. As my driver. As the driver of the Aegis. The driver? Of the Aegis? What... what the... What will you do, Rex? Is this place really your home? It is. And it... really exists? Rex, I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By... Coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We wouldn't have to live in fear. Then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. Now place your hand on my chest. What? Are you sure? Near and them. And? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we've finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with, Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the... Of you just claim her power for yourself. 
This is as far as it goes. Yeah! Aegis, over here! Just leave it out! Give it a rest, Malos! Can't you see it's just a child? A child? Don't make me laugh. This kid has ah! made himself the Aegis' driver! The Aegis' driver? Rex is... Uh. Yeah! You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Ah! Everybody, go! No! Quick! Yeah! Malo, here! I don't think so. like you. Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. Into the gameplay. Okay. Time to take you. Oh, okay. Down. We can do this together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Blind spot. All right, Pyro. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm for sure. Oh, no, you ah. don't. That, that completely missed. Fantastic. Just shut up and let me fight, rounds. for God's sake, would like you? Attitude. Sword up. bash. Yes, I know. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, you don't. Much obliged. I, I know. Why not? Come on, dude. Ah, I missed. Oh, I'm oh, 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 okay, for it. here we go. Ow. So this is basically okay. the base combat of a. Uh, of Chronicles 2 here. Attack as much as you can. And hope for the best. So as you can see also, if you wait until the final hit of an auto attack combo, you get more special charge than you would normally. Go for it. Fire, be my sword. There we go. You're not. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Oh wow, that just wow, that ended the fight. Okay. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat yeah. to control the Aegis like that. However. Ha! Don't get cocky, you little shit! Zubak! Understood. What? Get out! 
Out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child. Nia, I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! Shark for someone who's only just woken up. Kyra! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is a museum. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! You're a tough one, kid. There's only one way this can end. Oh, shit. What's that? to do.
Ugh. Actually, can I not? Yes. Just in case. Not even die properly. What if they ask Banner to repay money? Huh? Die? Repay who? Eh, none of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan, and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclist Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick, so Papoonin. Papoon and lose them, yes? Yes, but... And then run away like coward? Yes, but... Ma, 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 ma! Bad enough to take people excuses of Papooning! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclist Sea. In current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Isn't Chairman Banner? What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Endor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. Thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Why? Where... I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a Titan of some kind. A Titan? <gasps> Where's Gramps? A Nia? Gotta find them. They can't be far. Okay. All right. Huh. Okay, so this is telling us about all the different stuff that we can do. Um. So now that we actually have a blade, we have some important stuff we need to talk about My right off the bat. Has increased. This is an affinity chart, as you can tell. This is actually quite important because this side of it, this red stuff, usually makes your characters a lot powerful. This is usually stuff that has to deal with like buffs, so like that shows 5% chance and stuff like that. It, like this stuff is also kind of like, I would call it, this is more direct, right? So this is more like a 
increases to damage, that type of stuff. It's more like direct kind of helping you out. While this is more of like a support type of helping you out. And then over here are... This part over here is the part that's actually I would consider uh, <laughs> quite important. Because if you don't pay attention to this green part over here, you'll get to a point in the game where you realize that you needed to pay attention to it and now you can't move forward with the story. So thankfully, me being smart, I wrote all the stuff down that we need. I have it all written down, all of the stuff that we need. And we need quite a few things. So these are called field skills. Right? So we have stuff like Fire Mastery, and there's different levels of it. So you have Fire Mastery level 1, level 2, and then level 3. Uh, you have, uh, let's see what else we have. We have Focus, which is something that... Cooking, you don't ever really need. Um, Fire Mastery is something that's needed to complete the game. Um, focus is something that's needed to uh, complete the game. Electric Mastery is needed to beat the game. Wind Mastery, Leaping, Focus... Uh, keen Eye and Ancient Wisdom. Those are the things that we need the most of. Thankfully, most of the field skills that we actually need are basically given to us by Story Blades. Um, of course, having co common blades helps out massively with that because... No matter what sort of common blade that you also... I guess I should also mention that. Jesus. Uh, so, Myth... Pyra... Jesus. <laughs> Pyra is... Well, I guess you can't really consider Pyra like a, a rare blade either. I guess she would be like a legendary blade, but... Eh, whatever. Um, so, blades that have like actual designs and are not just like the common blade look are very, very different. Um... Uh, they usually have field skills that are more... I don't want to say important, but they're very different. Let's just go with different. Uh, what is the skill show? No, not important. Okay. Also, pouch items do also can affect uh, your characters, as you can see. Liked items and like types. Stuff that we'll get into much later in the game. Because I don't think we actually end up... But then again, you do need to use stuff like this situation to unlock certain things. For example, I can guarantee you that if I go to Pyra and I go to the specific places, I think probably... Uh, use Pyra's favorite pouch item from the drinks category. That will unlock focus level 2. That's going to be important. We should get that. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult to do. But yeah, usually the field skills ask you to do simple stuff like that. It's not too big of a deal. It's really simple to do. We don't have to worry about it all that much. We just need to make sure that we have the right things for the right times. We don't... I don't believe we need to start really worrying about that. Because I believe really the first roadblock comes okay. in during chapter... Um, right. Let's go. Seven? I think that's when the first real roadblock to all of the, the story comes in. We can do this um, We can also upgrade. Oh, also, I forgot. Because I should have this now. Uh, I believe they just give it to you right off the bat when Rec gets. Yeah. Rolling Smash. So we're definitely going to switch Rolling Smash in. Um. It switched my stuff around again. Thanks, game. Please don't switch my stuff around again, or I will not be happy. Thank you very much. Okay. So as you can see, there's Time just enemies everywhere. I'm just going to beat up a few enemies, make Let's our way go. forward. Ha. Not too big of a deal. Ha. Anchor shot. Ha. Our are in tune, Rex. So I my do believe... As you wish. For it. Why not? Play so we definitely are going to want to upgrade Pyra's... Hold on, let me see. We're going to want to upgrade Pyra's... Fire Mastery, so it's just discovering areas. Uh, which is just something that I guess will happen naturally. And drinks... 
succeed in a button challenge also, but that, we can't actually do it yet. Because we need this. So trust is another thing. Trust is something that goes up naturally. Trust, I believe, also goes up uh, faster if you give them their favorite pouch items, all that type of stuff. But trust is also very important because it actually allows you to unlock these other things. Again, not something that we really have to start worrying about until probably maybe like chapter 5 or chapter 4 is really when we have to start worrying about it. Which is okay, quite a while from now. Because we're only in chapter 2 and trust me, these chapters are long. They are very, very long. Oh, it's not even a joke, they are very nice. So, so, also, when they were showing us the blade combos okay. and how all of that works, Time as you, uh, if you saw, it's basically based off of the element of the blade. Yeah. Um, so, every different blade in this game has a completely different element. Kyra is fire. Um, we are going to get Nia in our party in a few minutes here. She has, I believe, Dromark, which is... I believe he is a, um... A water-type blade, if I'm correct. Why not? Uh, other than that, it's not really, like, anything too big. Uh... Also, Rolling Smashes, I believe, is the, the, the ability that does the most amount of damage. I believe Rolling Smash deals the most amount of damage if you're not able to get, like, a back hit or anything like that with Rex's other arts. Okay, time to take you down. So, yeah. This game has a lot of stuff going on and they never explain any of it right. My biggest worries at the current moment, however, with the whole field skill situation, is Ancient Wisdom and Keen Eye. Those are the two that I'm worried about the most. Because that's the roadblock that I, I, I know and I've encountered multiple times. Grumps! Mm, it is good to see you uninjured, Rex. How awful. Hold on, I should have some herbs. You are kind, but... No amount of human medicine would suffice. But weep not, my boy. This is my fate. Uh, I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. The days with you were the best I ever had. Until we meet again, Rex. Rams. I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex? <laughs> Rex? Grumps! Rex! Use your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite handy. 
Must be nice to be a Titan. This isn't something just any old Titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Oh, it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Th 300 years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean pay rent? Oh, oh miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're okay, Grants. Oh, shoot. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, oh, now this makes a nice change. All right, and we're back. So, we don't have very much longer to this episode. I'm not sure how far we're going to make it, but once we hit that okay. hour, I'm going to end it Time off like normal. Um, so yeah, I'll probably yeah. just beat up a few more guys. I like your attitude. And now, looking at that whole trust thing, I'm now questioning myself on how is the fastest way to make that go up. Now that I think about it, every time I play this game, I've just allowed it to go up naturally. There we go, that's another affinity reward. That's very good. There it is. Let's see what I can do with this. So yeah, trust does go up. I think it goes around up around 10 every battle, uh, for the most part. I think. Um, okay. the longer the Time battle goes, I think the better, guys. because if you can get that golden beam, which means your affinity is at its highest, your trust goes up even more by the end of the battle. I think that's also something that's oh, fairly that's important. Uh, affinity also works out very well, because I believe it also speeds up the speed of your attacks, it makes you do less damage, you take less damage, dodge more attacks, all that type of stuff. Why not? So let's see if that actually made it go up again. No, it didn't. Huh. Okay. So I need to find out exactly what are the exact ways that make... Yes, I know. What are the exact ways that what make trust go up? Because if I know that, then I can just... There's probably some sort of way to exploit it. No. Did she just, like, almost jump off the... Oh my god, I almost did it. But yeah. Okay, time to take you down. Huh, I wish you could have the music for this game higher because this, the music in this game is absolutely amazing. This game, Chronicles 1 and Chronicles 3, all have fantastic music. And it's just like a consistent thing throughout each of the games. The music is just very good each time. I don't know how long they spend making the music, but you can tell that they obviously enjoyed making it. Let's show them a thing or three. Seriously, and this and the soundtracks for these games are also just like they have a little bit of everything. You know? My thoughts exactly. They really, really do. It's crazy. Alright, I think we're gonna fight this little guy and then we're gonna end off the episode here. Alright, come on, little bunny. Alright, yeah, bunny. 
kill. Michael so it looks like Anchor Shot is actually a two shooter. Which makes sense, yeah. I always thought it was a two hit, but I was never 100% certain until now. See, I was never really paying attention to health bars. I was always just paying attention. I don't know. I guess I've just gotten better at this game and now I can actually understand what the heck is going on. Anyway, so we're going to end off today's episode here. Thank you all for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I make a new video. And I'll see you all on the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2.